Hello students, today I'm going to tell you really about a very important subject that is marketing management, right? Uh, before really I start the subject, really let me introduce myself. I'm Rahul Kapoor. I'm working as assistant professor with the School of Business Management, Noida International University. We are delivering this particular subject to our MBA students in second semester. Now, before we start the subject, it is important for us to know as to what is the importance of this subject. See, when we talk about marketing, it, it's all about you know, getting your products really, taking your products really to your customers, marketing them well, right? Howsoever good your product might be, but if you don't market it well, your success in the marketplace is, is, all going to, is, is always really going to be questionable. And that is the reason we talk really about this marketing management. Now, fundamentals of marketing, it is important for us to know as to what are the basic fundamentals what are the basic key points of marketing management so that our students can have some knowledge have some information and they can utilize this knowledge once they are out in the market for their placements now when we talk about marketing it is one subject or one domain which offers value and value is always offered really through creating a good product communicating about that product and finally you should be able to deliver that product also so in a sense what we can say is marketing is all about creating communicating and delivering value to your customer one thing students is very important for us to remember that if you are not uh, you know delivering any value either through your product or through your communication with your customers or through actually delivering to your product uh, to, to, to your customers your products would your your customers would always be highly dissatisfied so marketing is all about creating value and how can you create this value you can create this value deliver this value proposition to your customers by creating a product which can live up to the expectations of your customers not only product is important but at the same time communication about the product related to a customer is also equally important you need to communicate them in very clear words that what what uh, major selling points your product has and that is the reason you must have seen uh, the companies and the brands uh, you know investing a lot of money in promotion advertising and sales promotion why because they want to communicate the major selling points unique selling points to their customers the customer would always be looking really to the usps of your products and how well a company can communicate about the products will depend on company's ability to use communication as a mode of interacting with the customers and finally it is also important for for the companies to deliver to be able to deliver the customer uh, you know products the, the products which which have been ordered by the by the customers to them delivering is important because it it, it, it could be a uh, you know uh, instance wherein the, the customer has placed an order to you but you have not been able to deliver on time and that causes a lot of dissatisfaction at the customer's level right so in order to avoid that it is important that i should be delivering right set of customer you know product to the right set of customers at the right time so marketing is all about creating communicating and delivering value proposition to your customers now when we talk about marketing the importance of marketing is that it's all about satisfying 100% needs of 10% customers rather than satisfying 10% needs of 100% customers that is very true and this is something which differentiates marketing from selling selling does not is not concerned really about the satisfaction level of, of, of the customers come what may you have to sell that is the mandatory from the company right but as far as marketing is concerned marketing says not only you have to sell your product but at the same time you should be equally concerned about about the satisfaction of the needs of the customers so it says you don't look at the entire bigger market for you as a as a as a as a market to cater right you take only short market or a very small segment of the market but you ensure that you end up satisfying 100% needs of the customers right for example you are catering only to 10% of the uh, you know customers in the given market but you have to ensure that you end up satisfying their 100% needs rather than catering to 100% customers who may be there in the market but ending up satisfying only 10% so the job of the marketing is to make selling superfluous so 
superfluous does not mean that selling is not required the marketing as well as the selling these are the two domains which go hand in hand marketing without selling is an incomplete and similarly the selling without marketing is also the success would be questionable but what does it mean that the job of the market marketing is to make the selling superfluous it means that you create that kind of an information level at the customer's place or the customer's end so that when the salesman approach the customers the customers do not have any questions to ask means he knows everything about the product looking at the communication campaigns run by the marketing team now we'll talk about a very pertinent very relevant uh, you know topic that talks about evolution of marketing concept the marketing concept as we discuss is all about creating communicating and delivering value to your customers it has never been same like that right from the inception of the trade and commerce in india as well as abroad marketing concept was not there so it has taken marketing years and years put together to evolve in the present uh, you know shape we it is started off from the production concept initially production concept says basically produce as much as you can produce as much as you can right if you produce in large numbers when we talk really about the good olden days good old days the people were not not concerned about selling they were not concerned about about uh, you know marketing or the society they were more concerned about producing as much as they can so they produced in great numbers right by producing in great number the people said you can have economies of scale per unit cost of production would always be less if you are producing in larger quantities so that was the production concept from the production concept one school of thought said okay fine we are producing in large numbers but at the same time we should do something really for maintaining the quality of our product also so thus the came uh, you know the product concept came into picture product concept says not only you have to produce in great numbers but at the same time you have to ensure that the quality of your product is also very good if the quality of your product is good it means it will deliver value to the end customers and the customers will not leave your system and they'll buy time and again from your system also so the product concept basically emphasized on maintaining the quality of your product from product concept they move to the selling concept selling concept says hard sales come what may you have a product you have a service you know each and everything about your product and service and you have to sell it to your customers you have to ensure that the that the company ends up getting higher sales sales higher revenues so selling concept is basically limiting or restricting itself only to the sale of the product and they're not concerned about the customer delight or the customer satisfaction level from selling concept in the present era we talk more about the marketing concept right marketing concept like in sales also facilitates the sales but at the same time marketing concept says you have to drive value for your customers you have to create value prop, uh, proposition for your customers and how can you do that you can do that by delivering exact value which is expected by the customers to the to them so marketing con uh, you know concept is concerned about the satisfaction level marketing concept is uh, concerned about whether you are living up to the expectation level of of your customers or not and now the very recent concept that has come up uh, for our study is the societal marketing concept that is also related somewhat to the marketing concept that we have already discussed societal marketing concepts is basically about uh, you know the society welfare all the companies which are doing business india anywhere else in the world they are all existing in society right so they have a duty towards society also they should do something for the society also there are n number of brands in the market which which are investing lot of money lot of money in corporate social responsibility which is a part of societal marketing concept since i am existing in society i am earning my revenues my sales from the society so it becomes my moral duty to pay back to it something related to the society this is what societal marketing concept talks about right so there are many companies like for example toyota for example ndtv they have collaborated and they are doing a wonderful job as far as electrification of indian villages is concerned so this this is something which is aimed at societal marketing concept similarly itc which happens to be a tobacco company but which is heavily into fmcg also they are contributing 1 rupee on every every notebook that they are selling classmate brand of uh, you know make of notebook which they are selling to the customer to girls child education so they have done huge contribution towards girl child education similarly tata group is also doing lot of thing they have come up with uh, many healthcare facilities they have invested in protecting environment or pol uh, from pollution and everything uh, 
they are they are they are providing healthcare facilities to many villages many towns wherein anybody can walk in their hospitals and they get uh, you know free treatment free healthcare attention and all that so this is all about societal marketing concept so this is how our marketing concept has evolved over a period of time it started from production concept as they as we said which talks about uh, you know volume uh, you know production produce as much as you can so that you can have economies of scale then it moved to product concept which talks about uh, the maintaining the quality of a product then it then came the selling concept which focused only on selling their products to the customers and then the marketing concept came up which talks about customer satisfaction and customer delight and then the societal marketing concept which says that every marketer every businessman must realize that they have certain duties towards the society also so they must contributes a part of their profitability for the societal welfare also so this is how this entire marketing concept has evolved now when we talk about major highlights of marketing how marketing is different from other concepts how how marketing gave way really uh, the sales uh, gave way to the marketing why this marketing uh, department or domain is so much of importance why every brand every company in today's time is investing huge amount of money on 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 their communication on their promotion on their marketing products right so we'll will uh, you know understand the major highlights one by one first is deep understanding of needs marketing concept always says that you have to understand the preferences the needs of your customers if you do not pay attention to this fact of 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 your business you may not be able to understand the need of your customers and you may not be able to telemate your products so if there is a gap between what a customer is expecting and what you are delivering then your your success would always be questionable right so in order to avoid this kind of a situation it is important really for every marketer for every company to understand very deeply about the needs about the expectations about the preferences about the tastes about the market trends this is precisely what marketing emphasizes on second is more emphasis on relationship customer orientation while we talked really about selling concept selling concept was more of a company orientation it talked about more of a uh, about you know the interest of the company while if you talk about marketing marketing talks about customer orientation it it says that put yourself in a customer's place and think from his perspective what are your expectations from a brand what are your expectations from your company right and then you pitch those brands to a customer so that the customer ends up getting satisfied so more emphasis on relationship you need to build a sustainable business relationship with your customer you need to be focused on your customers all the time so that you can provide such goods and services which basically satisfy your customers value driven this point we have already uh, you know touched upon marketing is all about creating value proposition for a customer if the customer sees a value in buying a certain product then only the customers will go because there's a lot of uh, you know competition there is a cutthroat competition that exists there are many brands many companies selling the same kind of products so why would a company why would a customer buy really from from your system only unless until he sees some value being driven or some value being delivered to him so marketing focuses on that on that marketing emphasizes on creating value proposition for your customers customer satisfaction that is also that is something that was missing in the selling concept sales people are not concerned whether the customer is satisfied with them or not right while the marketing says no you have to achieve customer satisfaction also and when would a customer be satisfied when there is a uh, when there is not a gap between what he is expecting from a brand and whatever he is getting up. in the return because every businessman every marketer must realize that whenever a cu- customer goes for a brand or a company company's product he invests his hard earned money and when a customer is investing his or her hard earned money he is expecting some kind of a roi also return on investment also so whether the customer is get, getting that return in in terms of value being created for him or her or not is something that marketing emphasizes on and then now the companies have gone a step ahead and they talk about of customer delight they no more talk really about customer satisfaction is customer delight not only you have to satisfy a customer through your products and services but at the same time you have to ensure that even if the customer has not expected certain things you end up delivering those things to to your customers also whenever you end up delivering those uh, you know things to your customer 
which the, even the customer has not expected, the customer would be a delighted customer. We can take the examples of some of the, uh, you know, um, eating joints like McDonald's. McDonald's is selling, uh, you know, burgers. So when they started off their operations in India, they were not only selling burgers, but they, they were offering freebies in terms of free French fries to their customers. So it's a, the customer feels very valued. He is very delighted when he, when he gets to know that French, if he is buying burgers from a McDonald's outlet, he is getting uh, French fries absolutely free of cost. Similarly, if you walk in into any automobile store, retail store, like for example, you are walking into a Maruti and, and you are uh, you know, purchasing a car, right? And, and the salesman or the sales guys are standing over there, they say that, they uh, that with every purchase of this car, you will be getting a Pioneer or a JVC audio system absolutely fitted in, in your car absolutely free. How does a customer feel when he gets to know that he's getting these freebies really from the company? He feels delighted. He feels extremely satisfied. satisfied. So these are some of the major, major selling points that, that uh, you know, marketing emphasizes on, that you have to have a deep understanding of the needs of your customer. You have to build a sustainable uh, business relationship with your customer. You have to drive value at every given point to your customer. You need to talk cons consistently about your customer's uh, satisfaction. And you at times, you have to go a step ahead also and drive some kind of a delight to your customer, deliver delight to your customer. You have to ensure that most of the customer that you are catering to or most of the customer that you are basically handling, they are delighted customers. Now the question may arise as to why the satisfaction and delight is important. See, no company in the world would be satisfied with one time of transaction, one time transaction. You'll not be satisfied as a company or as a company representative if you feel that the customer is buying but only buying only once from your system. You would want him to come and come time and again to your, to your system and buy from your system every time he has a need which you can fulfill, right? So unless until you create some kind of a satisfaction or delight at his level, the customer will never really come back to you, right? Because there is no dearth of competition in today's time. There are many brands, as I said earlier, which are selling same kind of products. The price points can also be matched really by your competitors. Services after sales services can also be emulated by them. But where you can create a difference is whether you can, you can deliver something extraordinary to your customer with none of your competitors can match. And this is where you will create satisfaction and delight with, within your customers. Now, now let's talk really about the major functions. After the, uh, the major highlights that we have understood of marketing comes the major functions of marketing. What are the major functions of marketing? What does marketing do really for a customer? What does marketing do for a company? Right? Promotion. Of course, there are people who have a misconception in their mind who simply feel that marketing is all about promotion. No, marketing is not about promotion only. Obviously, promotion plays a very pivotal role, very important role in the overall marketing campaign of a company. But we would be doing injustice to the marketing concept if we are limiting or restricting marketing only to promotion. Of course, promotion is a very, very important part. As I said earlier, however good your product may be, right? But unless until you promote it, unless until you market it well, your success is always going to be questionable, right? So. As we see all around, there are many, you know, brands which are investing huge amount of money in promotion. They're promoting through advertisement. They're promoting through sales promotion. They're promoting through social media. They're promoting through traditional modes of, uh, you know, television advertising or electronic media advertising or print media advertising. So promotion is something which is done by marketing. So one of the major functions of marketing would be the promotion. Selling. As I said, marketing and selling both go hand in hand. And you cannot imagine one without the other, right? So marketing is something which facilitates selling. When Whenever a customer sees the ad of, of something on television or print media or electronic media, he, he feels a little inquisitive. He feels, let's try out this product. Then he goes to a retail store, he walks into a retail store and asks really about that product, right? Similarly, th there would be many promotional campaigns which would be run, uh, you know, on the ground level by the uh, by the uh, marketing professionals the basic idea is to basically increase the information level of, of of the customer so that the selling becomes a lot more easier for the people who are responsible for it then comes the product management yes 
product management again is, is an important function which is to be performed by marketing. The, the marketing basically, as I said, promotes product. So the customer knows about the product, the customer knows about the product portfolio, the customer knows about a company's product lines, what all product lines would be there, what, what would be the major specifications regarding the products that the company sells. So these are all the important things which comes under product management, which is to be performed by marketing. Then the pricing. Yes, pricing is, is, is a very important factor. What makes pricing, diff, diff, uh, you know, uh, stay, stay out um, as if, we, if we compare it with, with this certain other marketing mix components is that prices is, is something which brings revenues on the table for a company. So every company, uh, you know, would be, would be uh, you know, focusing on pricing. So marketing base, basically promotes pricing also. You must have seen the companies promoting uh, like, uh, you buy one product and two products would be absolutely free. All all products available at 999 rupees or 99 rupees, right? So th these are these are the selling gimmicks or marketing campaigns which are run by the companies to promote the pricing of their products to the customers. Marketing information system management, yes, that is also a very very important important function. All the information related to the product, all the information related to the marketing, all the information related to the campaigns which are run from time to time by the marketing department of a company should be made available to a customer and this would be responsibility of the team which is handling marketing or the marketing professionals to ensure that. Financing, that is also very, very important. What are the ways that the company, that the customers can uh, you know, get finances so that so that it may be possible that that some some products are big ticket purchases, high ticket purchases. The customer may not have uh, you know the enough money to buy those products. So what are the finan finances available? Like you must have seen many retail outlets having collaboration with Bajaj FinServe or ICICI Prudential or such companies. So this is where the marketing plays a very very important role. Every brand basically promotes the financial companies that they have collaborated with so that it, it is easier for the for the customers to basically get their hands on product through financing distribution yeah this is probably the most important function of selling and marketing team distribution distribution is all about delivering a product it's all about making the product available to a customer but we cannot limit or restrict distribution only to this much distribution is all about delivering value proposition to a customer now the question may arise as to how a company can deliver value proposition to a customer through distribution by distributing the right set of products to the right customer at the right time. If any of these links is missing, it means you have failed as a distribution company. I have ordered something and in return the company is delivering me something else. Will I be a satisfied customer? Will I be a happy customer? No. I have ordered something but the customer company is taking more time, time than, the, than the company's commitment. Will I be a satisfied customer, happy customers? No. I have ordered something, but the company has delivered that product to somebody else. Again, it creates some kind of a dissatisfaction level at a customer's end. So in order to avoid these situa uh, situations, it is important that companies must focus on distribution. They must focus on delivering right set of products to the right customers at the right time. In, in today's time, most of the companies have outsourced this function. They have basically collaborated with some of the companies which specialize in distribution. They have outsourced this entire function. They are focusing only on marketing and produ producing their products and the distribution is taken care by the companies having specialized in that.